Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you hear that? I'm, I'm not sure, but I think that's the sound of Christmas's past when you gave your loved ones crap gifts. Yeah, yeah I, I do hear the complaints loud and clear now. Great. More slippers. Oh, just what I wanted, a fruitcake. I would have just rather had money. You suck at gift giving. That's not funny. <laughs> but that, my friends, is in the past. So if you need help finding the ultimate gift for your outdoor enthusiasts in your life, you've come to the right place. Now, once you're, uh, once you're done here, all of those sarcastic wow thanks comments from your loved ones will turn into a celebration of your gift giving magic. It was beautiful. I could hardly wait to try it out. You know, just like uh, Ralphie getting his Red Rider BB gun. So let's stop messing around and get to my list of some really <laughs> holiday gifts that will have your friends and family jumping for joy. Now, one thing I do want to point out before we get this party off to a go here, all these items here, nothing's in really particular order. And some items you're going to notice I have here in my studio. Others were a little big and bulky. They'll go lugging up here. So instead, uh, you know, I'll put some video on uh, on the screen here and you'll be able to watch as I'm talking through why that product or that item is on this particular list to begin with. Now, starting off with, man, this is one of my favorite, new favorite items from this past year here. So when you think about any off-road overlanding person, when they get off grid and then they come back, what's the one thing that they should be doing most of the time? Drinking beer? Yeah. A lot of the times, we'll leave it at there. Airing down and airing back up. I was way off. So what do you need? You need a great, I was gonna say you need a good compressor, but instead I just went to the full Monte. said you need a great air compressor. A air compressor is something that you need to be able to rely on. Nothing is worse than something that take forever to air up your tires or better yet stops working because it's unreliable. So with that said, over the years, I've, I've tested a number of air compressors and the one that is on today's list is this beauty right in this case right here. Where's my zipper? This, my friends, is, I was looking at this. I'm like, oh, man, I could have organized this before I took this out. Just keeping it real. This is the Morflate 10-6 Green Machine. This thing is a beast. You a mean green fight machine. I absolutely, this is, see, they have two compressors. They have the normal Morflate uh, 10.6 and then they just came out with the pro version which you can see that little screen right here. All right, let me tell you a little bit about this mean green 10.6 machine. That is a mouthful, but we're going to run with it anyways. So you're talking about something that is a rapid tire inflation. So this thing right here can inflate a set of 35 inch tires from 10 PSI all the way up to 40 PSI in less than five minutes. Now you're going to be using a four hose kit with this. So you're talking about a very powerful compressor. Now this is equipped with a 10.6 CFM dual cylinder compressor at zero PSI. Efficient operation, so it provides 6.5 CFM at 30 PSI. So this is really going to ensure quick inflation. And you're talking about a versatile pressure range. So auto mode is going to cover from 10 to 120 PSI, while the manual mode is going to extend from one to 150 PSI. So the cool thing about this pro version right here is you can set it and forget in auto mode. Just select the desired PSI and it will inflate your tires while you do something else like kick back, relax a little bit. You deserve it. You're talking about high duty cycle operates with 50% duty cycle. So 15% or 15%, 15 minutes on, in 15 minutes off. The power supply of this thing, it's gonna run 12 volt with a peak uh, current of 90 amps and approximately 50 amps during normal operation. So this thing is a beast when it comes to drawing power. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure your vehicle is running with this thing so you don't kill your batteries. And of course, as you can see here, this is a very compact design. The external dimension of this thing is 14 by seven by nine inches, making it very portable and easy to store. And the bright green coloring, heck, you can see this thing from a mile away. Yeah, you can actually. Plus it looks pretty cool as well. And uh, one thing I do get asked on is the noise. This thing is low noise as well. So it operates at 70 to 75 decimals, about one foot away from this thing. So again, gotta have a good compressor. The next item on this list, the next item on this list, 
needs no introduction. If you watch any of my videos, it's one of the first, it's actually is the first thing that you're going to see me taking out of my rig and setting up almost every single time. And that is my tire table, the tailgater tire table. This thing is a absolute, I love this table. I think I have two of them. You got to go with the large one. Absolutely recommend the large one. When I go taking it out, it sits up on one of the either tire on my trailer or the tire on the truck. And the Starlink and the battery is the first thing that is going up on this. And this thing is portable. It's compact. So it weighs less than 16 pounds, measures 33 by five, or 33.5 by 28 by 1.5 inches thick. So again, we're talking about something that is really portable. And is the installation of this thing is absolutely a breeze. It mounts to the vehicle's uh, tire without the need for any tools or a hitch. And it only needs about two inches of clearance between the tire and the fender itself. And you're talking about something with, one of the things I really like about this table, especially when I have my kind of pricey electronics on top of it, we're talking about stable design. This thing's gonna ensure stability on various ground conditions. And with the retractable leg for extra support, this table is absolutely rock solid. Durable finish as well. Um, it comes with a bag, I never use the bag. So mine's always being tossed and beaten around and it looks really good. And the reason why it looks good is because it's a powder coating finish and that's gonna really enhance and make this thing much more weather resistant as well. Now the large tire table is capable of holding up to 75 pounds. Now it is worth noting there are two different sizes or I think I hinted about that earlier. You have the large one and then you have what they, I think they call it a standard one. The standard one is like 29 inches. 23 by 1.5 and that one can hold up to 50 pounds. I've owned both, but honestly, the large is the only one that I use and I use it absolutely religiously. So you're talking about versatile outdoor use. And as I mentioned, I use it on every single camping trip, but it's also ideal for tailgating, road trips, RVing and overlanding. So tailgater tire table is a must have. Okay, the next one on the list, this, is hands down one of my favorite accessories for, for 2023. It's not really accessory, but one of my favorite items in 2023 because this company right here, if, again, if you've watched the channel for any duration of time, you know if you watch some of my must-have item videos and so forth, where we're talking about things that as a responsible overlander, camper, you know, whatever you need to have in your vehicle is a good first aid kit. Now, over the years, I have tested and played around with a variety of different uh, first aid kits. And there are some pretty decent kits out there, but came across this company right here, Jump Medic. And this is actually what's called a Jump Medic Pro. This thing is an absolute rock star. A couple weeks ago, we did a video uh, on comparing the a good, well-equipped first aid kit versus what Amazon calls, or calls a bestseller. And there's such a, you know, what, you know what I'll do is I'll put a link down below so therefore you can watch that. But anyways, having a first aid kit with you and in your rig that is capable for a wide variety of emergencies, you can't put a price on something like this or a good, a, a good equipped first aid kit. You cannot put a price. I realize the tape was hanging out. You cannot put a price on this, the value of something like this. Now, these things are not inexpensive. You want a good first aid kit? These are not inexpensive. Just giving you a heads up right now. But man, this thing is a absolute rock star. I mean, look at this. Boom. There is a tremendous amount of stuff in here. But anyways, tons of useful co components divided into four categories. So you have bandages, medication, trauma, medical supplies. Now the bandage section is well stocked and it includes a variety of bandage types and sizes such as finger clots, uh, moleskin, fabric bandages, to name a few. Now the medication category includes many useful treatments, uh, antihistamines, lip balm, ibuprofen, antibiotic ointments, and much, much more. Now, it includes trauma supplies that are going to prepare you for some very common mishaps, address cuts, burns, broken bones, and items like hydrogen peroxide, splints, and tourniquets. Man, that is a mouthful. Medical supplies are also included as well. Now, this kit really features, there's a stethoscope inside of a pulse oximeter, uh, blood pressure, cuff, and other medical tools as well. Now, this also includes a loadable Jump Medic Go, which 
I've not used the mine yet because I want to keep everything all in here. But anyways, this is a smaller eight by six by five inch kit. So you can fill it up with very specific necessities that you need for short trips. Now, one thing I really admire about this company here, there's actually a few things that I really dig about these guys. First off, they have a ton. If you go to their website, which I'll put a link down below here, you can reorder things that you're using on a regular basis. Uh, they have a lot of a la carte stuff that you can order. So for example, you can load things up in your small bag here, but this is also designed. So you're not talking about a marketing person or a salesperson that designed this here. The people behind this is assembled by, it's a veteran firefighter and a paramedic. So he's seen it. He's seen a thing or two. I think that yeah, that commercial there. These guys are, are the real deal. So again, going back to what I was mentioning a moment ago, a first aid kit a, is a absolute critical piece uh, to have in your rig. So Jump Medic Pro. And the next item on the list is a DB2 Deemer speaker box. This thing is a absolute blast. And it just struck me here that even though I said it earlier in this video here, there is absolutely no structure to how this list is being put together. We were just talking about a first aid kit. Now we're talking about a speaker. Now think about it. You get to camp, camp's all set up, fire's going, you have a beer or tasty beverage in your hand. That's what I'm talking about. A few weeks ago, I think it was a few weeks ago, I did a review on this thing. And if you watch that video, you'll know I've had a couple mishaps with some other speakers. This thing is as durable as it gets. And let me share with you some of the specs behind this thing. So you're talking, you know, the size standpoint, this thing is relatively small. It's 10.62 by 9.68 by 6.87 inches. So again, it's extremely portable and it weighs 5.44 pounds as well. So it's really lightweight. Now the speaker, this thing, again, it's housed in a military spec Peloton case, which is extremely durable, crush proof and waterproof. Hell yeah. Now there are dual three inch uh, speakers. These are eight ohm aluminum cone speakers with rubber surrounding drivers. Now, which are capable of up to 94 decimals and 11 watts per channel. Now the speaker, this is a Bluetooth enabled and has a hundred feet of line and sight range. So there's also a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for connecting your devices as well. Now here's something also pretty interesting about this as well. So if you have multiple Deemer boxes, you can actually connect them via through Bluetooth for a truly robust sound experience. So again, you can have multiple of these speakers hitting you from different directions. Now the 2600 lithium ion battery let me crack this open. Let's see, is that going to be in there? Okay, cool. Okay, so there's a 2600 milliamp lithium battery, and this is going to, that's going to offer you roughly about 40 hours of playtime between charges. It requires about four hours to charge it from zero all the way to full. Now, the speaker doubles as a storage container as well for snacks and other small items, basically anything that you want to go cram it in here. And there's even a let's see if we can shoot, get that in there. Okay, there's a USB C charging port in case you want to. In case you want to charge up your phone. Now the DB2 comes with an AC charger, a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable, a port plug, and actually let's point out that. So the port plug, that's this little thing right here. So one of the things I was mentioning a moment ago, you simply unscrew it from here. It's a compression fit. So if you know you're going to be around water, dirt, or you know anything that you, circumstances that you know potentially could get inside this thing, take this thing out of the back and put it in there. Again, all you got to do is turn it a few times and it's a compression fit. So this is going to keep this thing airtight, watertight, and keep all the other stuff outside of this thing. So it's actually, again, quite a genius design. Uh, wait, there's more. But uh, it also comes with a quick start guide as well. Now, one of the things that I really admire about this company as well is Deemerbox hand builds these speakers right here in the United States. So every time you go buying one of these things right here, you're supporting jobs right here. Uh, they do come with a, I want to say a 60 day money back guarantee that is included when you pick this thing up and just on me as well. You have all the, the controls right over here to uh, turn up and down power and you can actually see. Boom. Actually, we have one bar, so that means I need to charge this thing. But anyways, very easy to use. So Deemer box. Next on the list is the Planner Portable Diesel Heater. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any duration of time, this time of the year as we come into the winter months, you'll hear me constantly preaching about diesel heaters. 
Reason being is I've tested a number of different ways that you can heat your overlanding experiences from uh, propane heaters to electric heaters to this to that to even Chinese or cheap Chinese detail heaters as well. So there's a not all heaters are built equally. So I've tested quite a handful of diesel heaters over the years and ultimately the one that I use and I beat the hell of for the last handful of years is by an outfit up in Vancouver, Canada. It's a small family operation up there and they hand build these portable uh, heaters up there and it is built like a tank. It's a company called Planner Distribution. So this heater is fantastic. So the days of having to you know, heat your tent with uh, like a propane heater with all that moisture, carbon monoxide, dioxide, whatever the heck that that thing is pushing out and the potential fire hazard are gone. These things are absolutely, I love diesel heaters. So let me tell you about this particular heater itself. So it features a four kilowatt output, which provides reliable power or powerful heating for a large ground tent and even smaller ground tents. Now it also houses a big bright yellow crush proof case for durability and visibility at camp. So cool thing about it is you can see this thing from a mile away. It's also self-contained unit. So you can, the only thing that you need with this is diesel fuel or kerosene and a good solid 12 volt DC power. Now, uh, one thing I will just briefly say here, uh, and I'll put links to some of the other videos that I've done on diesel heaters down below, but one of the most important things with a diesel heater aside from the obvious of make sure you put diesel or kerosene into this thing, uh, is have a very good 12 volt uh, source that you're gonna power this thing that nobody's gonna step over or step on and potentially unplug it. If you accidentally unplug it or somebody unplugs it while this thing is running, you can actually harm the diesel heater itself. So the 12 volt, the power supply of this is very, very important. Now, let's talk about from a quiet standpoint. These things are absolutely super quiet. That's one of the things I like with planner is they are some of the quietest heaters that I've ever used. And they also have a built-in silencer, which also it's good for a nice peaceful sleep as well. Now there's a wired remote that comes with this as well. And this is great for controlling the heater without having to get out of bed. So you have this like this tether that you can bring inside the tent. You can control the heater and all that other fun stuff. Now you do have extended run time. So it, this thing's going to run approximately about eight hours for every gallon of fuel and it's easily maneuverable. This thing only weighs like 33 pounds and has an integrated handle on the top of it, which makes carrying this thing around super, super easy. Now you can also opt for a unit to install in your RV, camper, boat, whatever you want. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have a two kilowatt auto term heater uh, that I've installed in the nose of my Turtleback Expedition trailer. And that two kilowatt is perfect for heating the rooftop tent. Now, if you have a, again, a larger ground tent or a larger area or annex room that you may be heating, I would recommend going with the four kilowatt as well. But again, uh, like with everything else, I will put a link to planner distribution so you can take a look at these uh, diesel heaters in the links below. Next on the list is a Garmin InReach Mini. Going back to when I was talking about the first aid kit and talking about some prior videos that I did where I was talking about some must have items in your rig. This was actually one of the items on that list as well. So this is a small, rugged and lightweight satellite communicator. It is, well, as you can see there, it's very small. It's two inches by 1.3 by 3.9 inches. You have a nice 0.9 by 0.9 uh, display with a resolution of 128 by 128 pixels. This enables two-way text communication via the Global Iridium Network. Uh, it does require a satellite uh, subscription required. And uh, so they have plans that start at like 14 bucks a month or something like that. But it's Bluetooth connectivity, interactive SOS feature in a rescue monitor system. So again, with a satellite subscription. So you do need a subscription with this here. You have access to downloadable maps as well as US NOAA charts and aerial imagery with the Garmin Earth Map app. Now optional in-reach weather forecast services with the basic and premium packages. Now this is compatible with Garmin devices for sending and receiving in reach messages. So again, having the ability, if something like the first aid kit that I spoke about earlier, if something happens, having that, this is a good insurance plan. This is a great insurance plan. Just like that first aid kit, having a good proper first aid kit is a insurance policy for if something happens when you're out and about, or if you come across somebody that is hurt as well. Again, one of those must have items in your rig. Okay, the next item on here is this Outdoor Vitals Stormloft Top Quilt. Now, 
I was introduced to this four months ago, so I've been using this. Actually, I have a few of these that I've been testing out over the course of the last four months. And it's funny because I have a big old, what the hell makes that thing? I can, I'll put it on the screen here. But anyways, a sleeping bag. And I want to say that is a zero degree. Then I have a minus 25. And it is a big, big old bag. And as many times as I mentioned in your your overlanding rig, you're trying to reduce space. R space is our largest commodity. So this right here, okay, let us let me show you this here. If you've never used one of these things before, look at this. Don't let, let the look spoil you here. This thing is insanely warm. It's comfortable. And as you can see a moment ago, it really compresses really small when you store it away. So there are varying temperature options, including you have a 0, 15, 30 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, catering to various different weather conditions. And so you could also get it in a regular or long size, which is 71 inches. And then, of course, the Taller one is the 76, respectively. Now, the box baffled craft collar is fantastic feature. So it seals better around your neck to prevent cold drafts. Now, the quilt also has a carved uh, taper design, which wraps effortlessly around you to seal you up for added oh so toasty warm now the fully baffled design features a sewn in uh, foot box and this is really going to keep you warm and insulated from all sides so you can use this top quilt in sleeping on the ground or in a hammock now i use mine in my rooftop tent in my various ground tents as well now there are included clips and pad straps that are going to keep the top quilt in place on the sleeping pad and ensuring a again warmth even if you move around during your sleep now the 800 plus filled Power Hydro Dry Down with DWR treatment provides moisture resistance without adding undue weight to the quilt itself. Again, absolute. All right. I'm going to stuff this in here so you can see what I'm talking about here. When I first saw this and saw that they got it into this little tiny bag, one of the biggest things I hate doing as well, too, is when it's time to put camp away, putting the sleeping bag away. Oh, I don't like that. Because let's be real here. Raise your hand. They never fit in the bag like they like they're supposed to. No, they don't. And it's extremely difficult. This, you saw me doing that standing up, probably within 30 seconds. You, then you twirl it around a little bit, get the air out of there. Hold on. Boom! Look at that. It's like the size of a freaking watermelon, a small watermelon, or even a look at that. That's a big cantaloupe. That thing is awesome. Okay, boom. There we go. The next item on this list is a Energy Flex 1500. Now, this thing right here, boy, again, we're talking about things that are essential to a off-roading uh, kit or your camping site and having good, reliable power. Yeah, absolutely love it. Now, I have, this is actually just a portion of what I have with this. I have two other batteries. So this right here, that bottom portion right here, this is a battery. So I didn't feel the need of bringing all three of them up here, so I only brought one up, and what you're gonna find out is the Flex 1500 itself. So this thing right here, this thing is a beast of a power station. So let's start off at the top here. You're talking about a, a big handle for moving the power around the station. This thing only weighs 29 pounds, and it's 14 by eight by 8.9 inches, so it isn't really hard to maneuver as well. So you're talking about, it has a 1500 watt Pearson wave inverter with a 3000 watt surge. Now there's also separate power buttons, here we go right there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. For DC and AC, and there are ports galore on this thing. So you have six 110, 120 volt AC outlets, two 60 watt USB-C USB -C ports, if I can get that out, two USB-A ports, and two 5.5 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter DC outputs. There's also even two 15 amp cigarette lighter ports with 13.8 volt regulated DC output. So you can quickly check the power station's vital signs using a large front display, as you can see right on, the, on there. Now, I've been testing the hell out of this thing, actually, which is why it's all dusty here. Uh, out in some pretty harsh heat uh, during the last uh, six months here. And the reason why I bring that up here is I want to point to this thing has a ton of cooling vents to prevent this thing from overheating, but they aren't loud as hell, something that I really do appreciate. Now, the Flex 1500 also has a MPPT charge controller 
built into this thing. Now the power station works in either series or parallel wiring configurations as well. So with a 90 volt DC maximum with no amperage input maximum, which is again, pretty cool. Yeah, baby. Now you can charge the power station battery with multiple sources at the same time. So you can get power from the solar panels, your car and shore power simultaneously to cut charging time down to approximately 1.5 hours with the optional flex MPPT supercharger. Now this is extremely expandable. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, I have three of the flex 1500 batteries, but you can actually, believe it or not, you can have 96 of these batteries. Yeah for one hell of a power station. Hell, you can power a stinking NASA with that. That's powerful stuff. But anyways, whatever. So the point being is here, these are very scalable. So as your loved one or whoever is getting this as a gift is growing, you can either start with a single battery or you can actually build it up with multiple batteries and they even have a tactical unit as well. Whew, that was a mouthful. So these are all the stuff that you saw here, friends, these are some of my favorite overlanding items of 2023. What about you? Leave a comment down below with your favorite gear. I'd love to hear some hot tips from you as well. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, that could work out handy for those that are looking that are watching this video for gift inspired gift ideas. So uh, if you have another gift idea that, hey, that you personally use that you think would make a great gift, yeah, leave a comment down below. And while you're down there leaving a comment, I sure would appreciate you crushing that like button. It really uh, helps us out with the whole YouTube algorithm. But friends, that is, that's all I have here for you today. So I'm gonna be shutting up the cameras. You get out there, ho, 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 have a fantastic, wow. Gotta own it, gotta go with it. Anyways, friends, it's awesome seeing you guys. So uh, until the next time, happy holiday shopping.